This is chapter four, problem number 74. We're given the um, velocity of air relative to the ground um, as, let's call this VAG, okay? The magnitude of this is 42 kilometers per hour. This is the velocity of the air, air relative to ground. And we have this plane that starts at a point like this and ends at straight up north of the point where it started. Um, so this is the vector that we have as, well, velocity vector. Let's call this plane relative to ground. This is the velocity of the plane relative to ground. And then, well, this is the, the path that plane relative to air, right? Plane relative to air. So as you can see here, what PA, VPA plus VAG is VPG vectorally, right? That's the addition. What we're asking the problem is this uh, velocity, VPA. So if we want to isolate that, VPA is going to be equal to VPG minus VAG. Now, what is uh, VPG? We're not directly given the magnitude of this um, vector, but what we're given is that the fact that the plane travels 50 mile, 55 kilometers, 55 kilometers in 15 minutes, which is a quarter of an hour, right? So 0.25 h. So this would give us the pg if we want to write it in a vector form. All we need to do is to put in the fact that this vector is in the j direction. So then from here, the pg is the uh, vector, velocity vector of the plane relative to ground is 220 kilometers per hour and it's in the j hat direction now we're given the magnitude of vag however we need to write it in the in the vector form so vag is going to be equal to let's decom well decompose the vector right this angle is given as theta which is 20 degrees then the x component of vag is going to be um 42 kilometers per hour times cosine of 20 degrees and it's in positive x direction minus i put a minus there because the y component of this vector is in the negative y direction so it's going to be 42 kilometers per hour times sine 20 j hat right now that we can go back to this equation and plug it in for what's asked so bpa is going to be then equal to epg let's substitute 220 kilometers per hour j hat minus um let me do this algebra right here. 42 times cosine 20 is going to be 39.5 i hat minus 14.4 uh, kilometers per hour j hat, right? So then let's plug that in here. 39.5 kilometers per hour i hat minus 14.4 kilometers per hour j hat. So then it's going to be 220 um, plus 14.4 kilometers per hour in the J hat direction minus 39.5 kilometers per hour in the I hat direction. So let's rewrite it. Um, 234.4 kilometers per hour in the positive j hat direction and minus 39.5 i hat. Now we're asked the magnitude of this vector. What we're gonna do then is add the x component squared to y component squared and take the square root of the summation. So let me do it on a new page. The PA then the magnitude is square of negative 39.5 kilometers per hour plus 234.4 kilometers per hour. Um, pardon me, let's erase this one, squared. All right, then the magnitude is gonna be found to be 237.7 meters per second.